In this video, I'll be showing you how to create mobile buttons that look exactly the same as the Roblox GUI. So if you want to learn how to do that, make sure to stay until the end of the video. And of course, check out my Patreon if you want to become a member or buy some models. Enjoy the video. First, you'll need to insert a new local script inside the starter player scripts. So click on the plus button and then local script and rename it mobile controls. And now this script will have basically all of the controls and I will just show you how to make buttons. Uh, we won't be linking it to any major functions actually. So if you want to learn how to do that, you can probably watch one of my other videos. And how we are going to be doing this is not like the traditional way, we just inserting a screen GUI and then a button, because it's kind of ugly and doesn't really make sense. And we want it to look essentially just like the Roblox mobile controls. So to do that, we'll be using context action service. So you will need to get your context action service. And you can also link a key for the PC players. I mean, I know this is mobile controls, but we'll still do that. Just in case you have something special and you want it to be linked to a key for the PC players. Now we'll make a new function. And this doesn't really matter how you call it. Because it will probably be a function that already exists in your game. So, for example, I will do drop. Just so, for example, players can like drop items. And I'll just do print item dropped so this is basically just to reassure that the whole system actually works of course in your game as i said you will probably have a real function that actually does something now we'll create a local function handle input and it will take action name comma input state and then comma input object and we'll basically do if input state equals equals enum dot user input state dot begin then uh, we do something which is this drop thing and these other two things is basically just if you want to link other things to this function now we need to do context action service and then bind action and we can open this and inside we'll write drop item comma handle input comma true comma drop or actually not drop but key yeah. Okay, to explain it shortly, when you do context action service bind action, uh, we have the action name, as you can see, it, it's written right here. So it's drop item, just so we know uh, what is the action that we're actually doing, and it will come in useful later on. Then we have handle input, this is basically what function will be triggered when the button is clicked, and this is just create touch button, so it automatically creates a mobile button. Now the last two things we need to do is, again, context... Uh, action service and then set title you can also use other things like set uh, image so if you want to have like a certain image or something like that but i will be using title so it's basically be it's basically like uh, this is an image button and this is a text button so that's the only difference then action name needs to be the same as this one that we already wrote so drop item and then comma in the title which i'll just put drop so this is basically what will be written inside of the button now we'll do a slight delay just because uh, the game actually needs to kind of load in uh, and only after that this can actually work. I'm not sure why that is, because when I just tried to do this before, it kind of bugged and didn't load in properly. So then we'll do... actually, let's just copy this. So then we'll do context action service, and then set position, and action name, of course, drop item again, comma, udim2, uh, dot new, and inside you can either use scale or offset, but I will be using offset. So I'll put something like this. This is actually, I think, the default x-axis. And this will be 0, because we're using offset. And then for the y-axis, I will use minus 20. So that should come up somewhere around here. And we also need to go to the test. And when you click on this device, you can basically change it to be a mobile. And after that is done, we can then actually test it. And as you can see, this is how it looks. So we have a drop button. And when I click it, it says item drop which means this function actually does work. So there we go, this is basically how you make a mobile button inside of Roblox Studio. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.